Uh, so good to see you on here because we, we got a lot to talk about here in, in, a, in a short amount of time. But this is, um, uh, gosh, this movie is so intense and so much fun to watch. And you don't know what's going to happen until the end. And so when you get a script like this, you must think, oh, now this I have to do, right? Absolutely. We can all all say that easily and even get to the point where you're so hooked on your own character by the end of it. You, you, you know, it's like you can't wait to turn the page. And then so even when it says like long sequence underwater that you have to do that <laughs> night, uh, you don't even notice it. And you say yes. So <laughs> and uh, without giving too much away, the, the movie's intense throughout. Mm -hmm. And then it gets more so and then it gets even more so. So it really satisfied for um, for tight, taut thriller uh, lovers out there. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Cause uh, I, I was sitting there going, you know, uh, I'd love to see this on the big screen, but I'm glad I didn't because I'd be like the guy yelling at the screen, like, no, no, no. <laughs> um, it's probably the same thing for all of you guys, just turning the page going, oh, no, oh, no, 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 don't go in there. <laughs> it really has a couple of those. And that kind of dread and that sort of doom and that dark uh, sensation looms over this whole movie in such a characteristic way. So cinematic. The filming, Kai Krauss is our photographer, but um, James Crow just saw this. Um, you know, there's a term for it, Southern Gothic, but it's more than that. It's the soul of the piece. It's really, really thick and uh, deep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. And, and, but for each of you, I know that, that, um, you know, sometimes when, when you got darker material, sometimes you got to keep the set light. So there are probably a surprising number of laughs on the set, probably some really good kind of lighthearted memories, right? Yeah. I think that's the beauty of doing these small projects with a small cast is that we all, spent so much time around each other and thankfully became such great friends. I was blessed with, you know, Alyssa and Dermot here as well as all our other great stars and Kai Krause and James Rowe and Matt Paul, our producer, everybody was so hands-on and wanting to do a great job and make a great film that it has become this fun family. We were, I was so excited just when I got in the waiting room with these two before, just to catch up a yeah. bit, such a blast working together. Oh, that's so cool. Alyssa, did you have any good memories on the set? Oh, um, yeah, I had plenty of great memories. Um, working with these two, there were a lot of laughs while we were waiting, you know, in between takes down below uh, on the ship. And uh, yeah, and then we, we, had the, we had the hand warmers and they were in between, you know, soaking wet um, and, and just, I think that seeing two everyone that was a part of the project, but especially uh, the people that I got to act with, Dermot and Darren, and um, just shooting with them made um, acting so, so much fun. And it, it gave me a totally new experience. Um, so the, the entire thing really was memorable for me. I would say our lunches were great. Um, mm -hmm. You know, and uh, even to the work that everybody put in, I, I came in and we kind of shot the movie in a reverse order. Um, right. Like I could say that, guys, right? Yeah. Yeah, of course. There, you, well, the, you movie, the, the movie un unfolds in reverse order in some ways, yeah. too. So there wasn't really an order to shoot it in. Yeah, there was. Right. Yeah, so, was, yeah. Um, yeah, no. So just coming in and and everyone was so great um from matt being so involved with like wardrobe to the hair to like how are we curating this character and are we keeping a sense of her innocence um you know what i mean should her exterior still feel almost childlike are things that i talked about with derek the person that was on hairs yeah maybe it should feel uh, you know a bit innocent um exteriorly because she's definitely not so yeah, mm -hmm. the, the entire experience was hands down one of the best for me. Me too. Oh, that's the thing, Alyssa. Everything was so well thought out. You know, there was no just churning it out or, yeah, yeah, that'll do, or this shot, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> yeah. You know, like James and everybody's vision was so clear to make this story what it has become. And that's what it's about. That's that's how cool is it when you get to work with people that care that much that what we're doing is actually going to be good. And so it's yeah. just so great to be here talking to you about a movie that I'm proud of. And yeah, 
And, and for I, a while, uh, Darren, I was going to say, for a while, I thought that Darren had that type of accent because oh. he stayed in character throughout the entire thing. And so then, it like, you know, we had, I don't know when I heard your, your real voice. Well, your real voice, I knew your real voice, but you stayed in it so much where I was like, that's so impressive. Holy crap. Uh, yeah. You know, no, he was, yeah, he stayed, he stayed in character the entire time. <laughs> well, hopefully Dermot didn't stay in character the whole time. Because I was <laughs> I've, tried, I've tried that before. It's really hard. Um, yeah. It's really hard, Darren, honestly. Um, but yeah, Ray, maybe a character I wouldn't want to inhabit. Uh, Ray, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I say, well, you're also good at what you do. And people look up at that screen, they think that is what I want to do. And so much harder than people think, but you know, it can be done. So for each of you, what kind of advice would you give to someone that wants to follow in your footsteps? Oh boy, I can tell you one of the people that you could, uh, that you'd want to ask that of is James Rowe, because he had this thought, he's made films before, but he has other pursuits and he, uh, you know, he's not doing one after another. This is, this is just a handcrafted film from an original idea from his own screenplay man mm -hmm. it's incredible when somebody starts something out of the ether and turns it into a film of this cinematic weight it's incredible to be a part of this is a great time for indie films because there's just oh, a yeah. little opening here we want to fill it and have this uh, flow and, and make more movies with james Rowe. that's for sure <laughs> i know my colleagues here uh, agree um but yeah. You know, you can't do it without coming up with a dream. Helps to say it out loud and then, uh, you know, follow follow through. Those are three of the first steps. Yeah, and if yeah. you can do something, go all out. Do it to the absolutely best of your ability that you can possibly do. And I think mm -hmm. uh, I was very blessed that everybody around me was doing that. And that's what's up. Yeah, yeah. well that. Yeah, I would say saying? just going, you know, just one foot in front of the other. Yeah, mm -hmm. I uh, love that. Well, you know, my co-host Drew, per Drew Pearson uh, famously caught the Hail Mary, uh, went in the Hall of Fame. We're so proud of him. And um, and we all know the Hail Mary term now. And but uh, he wanted me to make sure I asked each of you your Hail Mary moment, which is that moment in your life or career. We decided to go for it and it worked out for you. What do you suppose that was for each of you? And well, Dermot, you probably had a bunch. <laughs> well... I say the rosary every time the plane's flying, uh, taking off and landing. So that you know, you want to talk hail mary. Let's be real. Um, but in in uh, in in life, golly, that one I'd have to think about. Maybe I thought of Young Guns that I was cast so early with an important, really intense character performance part, but with all the trappings you want: western action, riding horses, is a life love of mine. So. Um, that that would be one of them. Um, where that where I to catch that part of Dirty Steve in 1988. That was yeah. a hail. Yeah, yeah. I love that. Do you have a hail mary catch? Something that a, a, a yeah. game changer? Yeah, for me, I was on a TV show, and there was opportunity for me to stay on that show for you know a few years and probably earn a nice little paycheck and live a nice life or whatever. But an indie film like this, not this one, but came up, and it was a lead role, and I thought, yeah, I'm making way less money, but that's the opportunity to keep doing the things I love to do, which is movies like Breakwater, these indie movies. Oh, man, a Mary story, Alyssa. Yeah. Uh um no uh I, I mean i say you know i grew up saying hail mary's because i was catholic you know mm -hmm. but no um i mean on this film specifically darren was there for it uh i was kind of saying a hail mary because i was steering that ship you know what i mean oh. and <laughs> so they, they they were like listen it can't go to a certain area or else we're you know we really are going to and we're going to crash <laughs> so that that was kind of a hail mary but <laughs> no i think that no no yeah well, that, that, I'm, I'm glad you all went for it on this film because it was, it was so much fun to watch. We can't wait to tell everybody to check it out. Really appreciate your time today. Hope you have the best holidays and look forward to talking to each of you again a little bit more soon. Thanks, Thank you, Andrew. Thanks okay, thank you so much. We'll see you soon. Thank you.